All right, we have one of the uh, occupiers on the on the super celebrity hotline from New York. Uh, she goes by the name Grim Woman. Woman with, with a, a y. y. Yeah, Grim yeah, Woman. Gotta go with a Y. Right? Uh, and uh, all right, Grim or Ms. Woman? Uh, it's Grim. Grim. All right, uh, Grim. What, what's with the violence now? What's with this? Well, this is there a bad is no, idea. There is no violence. The mainstream media is trying to kill off our movement by saying that we're violent. We're not violent at all. I'm a very nice, happy person. Well, who are these people well, then? I'm who are these people? And I work really hard. I have an eight-year-old daughter, and I completely believe in the reasons that we're out here to end corporate control of governments around the world. Okay, first of all, who in the mainstream media is trying to kill off the in, the movement, and what are well, they doing? Every time you report something false, like we want to throw Molotov cocktails or engage in violence, you're trying to kill off the movement. We played a you're sound to discredit our ideas. Okay, lies. Okay, we didn't. We didn't. Okay, playing a soundbite. Yeah, I just heard you saying this. Can well, I can, can I finish? Can I, can I finish my statement you to you? You can find French elements in any in any gathering of people. All right, are you, you know, the? Are you, to ignore the actual real reasons that we're out here is an insult to your profession, and it is an insult <laughs> to the American people. Okay, I've been a, I've been a news reporter for 25 years. Are you going to let me actually complete one sentence so we can have a dialogue? Or are you going to keep talking over me? I would love to hear from you, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the sarcasm. Um, <laughs> we played a couple of sound bites. We did not say that you, as a movement, are resorting to violence. I did not and twist anything. Why any are you playing that sound bite instead of people who are doing teachings on corporate control of government? That's why we have you on. That's why we have you on. So right. when you get done making the accusations that are you're, they're doing the blanket accusations of everybody in the mainstream media, we're more than willing to let you tell us exactly what your mission is right now in New York. Please, you have the floor. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate it. And I'm no, sorry if I came off a little harsh. I am from Brooklyn. Go ahead. Okay, great. Yeah, so I'm here because um, I think that we have a real opportunity in this country and we have the information that we need that we can make changes happen very quickly to improve the lives of all of our citizens who live here. You know, we can do something like a 1% Robin Hood tax on all financial high-level financial transactions. We can close off offshore bank accounts. There's a great, uh, a great video called We're Not Broke, Just Twisted. It's on YouTube. It's put out by inequality.org. And it basically outlines all the different tax, tax programs that could be put in place that would raise over a trillion dollars over a decade that could pay for health care, that could pay for education, and a real federal public transportation system that really helps people all in one shot without even touching any of the money that's committed at this point through our government. You know, we just have to get together and rally together that we need a different world than what we're being given right now. All right, let me we ask you a question. We have an opportunity to even out the playing field for everyone. All right, let me ask you a question. Uh, in this big global economy in which we now all live and survive, absolutely. Uh, if you say to the, you, you throw the, you know, whatever the tax is, the one percent tax on uh, on financial transactions, what is to keep those? What is to keep those markets in America from moving overseas? To where an environment in which that wouldn't exist. It would be like... Well, that, that's why Occupy Wall Street is actually just one part of a global movement called Take the Square. Dot, it's called Take the Square, and you can go to takethesquare.net to get information about it. And we're all coordinating around the world right now. Tomorrow, November 17th, is going to be a big global day of action, including... But there will always be somebody Occupy who doesn't do that. Chicago. There, I mean, it, it's sort of like, you know, if you if you could find a cheaper apartment that's nicer, wouldn't you move to it? I have a pretty cheap apartment that's pretty nice. But if there were a cheaper, nicer apartment, wouldn't you move to it? I have a beautiful apartment. I love you, my So house. you'd stay. You'd stay no matter what. <laughs> I don't think. I don't. I don't think. I mean, you got to look at the way these corporations look at yeah, it. Because it because it's more than just about my apartment. It's about the community in which I live. And as a Puerto Rican woman in New York City, I love the Latino community in which I live. And so I will do anything to live in that neighborhood and to help make it better for its citizens. I'm involved in community boards. I'm involved in my daughter's school. I'm involved, you know, I'm friends with all the bodega owners around my house. I'm sure it's a great I mean, pleasure this, for all of them. This is, this is what we have to do as, you know, global citizens, is we have to really engage with our local community. And unfortunately, corporations are not that good at it. You know? Well, I don't know. I mean, you know, corporations they're actually not. give... They're well, they're they're Coca -Cola, for example, Coca-Cola likes to say how they get involved with the communities where they set up their bottling yeah. factories and whatnot. 
but they usually always yeah. put those bottling factories right on top of local aquifers and, you know, monopolize the water usage of the area. <laughs> okay. Right. The monop- because everybody's out of water now. I've noticed that everybody's out of water near the Coca-Cola bottling plants. Wait, here's the here's the question. What about the corporate giving? What about the what about the charitable giving? Do you know what Coca-Cola gave last year to corporate giving? What about corporate giving? Because I used to work. I used to work. Sorry. What is, now, see, the Acme people are screaming over you. Uh, they're just like, I'm being occupied right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, there is a lot of corporate giving, but they're not giving like, what they should be giving to real institutions that affect real change. Well, according to you, real institutions that affect real change. But isn't it up to that? Isn't it up to them to do what? Well, it's. Oh my God, these guys are so annoying. I'm so sorry. Oh my God, are they? Who are they? There's just, like, random businessmen that are coming around and taking pictures of those of us with signs, and I have a particularly fabulous one, so... Okay, we, 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 we're having a little <laughs> bit of trouble staying on point. As you guys know you want to hear what my sign says. No, I really don't. No, it, I do. it's, it's pretty awesome. You'll uh, love it. What does it say, Grim? It says, hey, 1%, you got 99 problems, and this bitch is one. I, you know what? I can't disagree with a word in that song. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, um, all right. So, so in other words, you don't you don't consider the fact that by uh, cre- tax is an envir- taxation creates environments in business. It creates a climate, basically, for a business, right? And so the more taxation they've got, the cost of the business, as, as the cost of their business goes up, the more likely they are to react to that in some way, shape, or form, right? Lay it off, yes, people. But if all the global governments act in unison, then they will have no choice. Have you noticed in Europe, in Europe, and you only have... to the communities in which they get to do business. Okay. And I... I, and I, I this I, is a global movement. Uh-huh. It's not just America. Okay, let me ask you this. If that is, in fact, if you can get all the nations of the world to get together on one thing, uh, mm-hmm. even though that's never happened in the in human history and never will happen in human history, just look at what's going on in Europe. Why, un- why, will, why will it never happen? We have the Internet. We have translators. We have all kinds of things that have just popped into our world in full force in the past five years. As far as I'm concerned, there's no stopping us. I mean, we okay. have coordinated communication in a way that we've never had before in the world's history. Uh-huh. And they have it in Europe now, and yet they, and the people who make those decisions can't get together on a decision because everybody has different cultural interests. People have different agendas. Right. You have a different agenda than I do, so why should I listen well, to you? Why should you listen we, to me? If, yes, but, it, you know, there's a lot of people in this park right now and How in many? Chicago right now who have different agendas. But we all kind of realize that we have to put the crap aside to get work done. Okay, how many people are in your park right now? What? How many people are in the park with you right now? Uh, it looks to be about two or three hundred people. Two or three hundred people, and there are nine million nine million people in New York City, right? Yes. Okay, I would say that's not a majority. No, but not yet. But tomorrow's going to be the big day. And it's what are you people today. doing tomorrow? People are kinda... What are we doing? Oh, it's tomorrow? raining today. Well, all right. All right. What all are right. we doing it's tomorrow? Raining. That is so important because uh, that's the thing. October seventeenth. That's the big deal. October seventeenth. What's November, the plan? November 17th. I mean, uh, November seventeenth. November seventeenth. November seventeenth. Yes. Wait, so what's the what's the deal there? I was just hoping for an extra month of fall. What is it's the deal? It's a big global day of action, and hopefully, we're going to shut down Wall Street tomorrow. And how will you shut down Wall Street without violence? Because we're going to have so many people that they're not going to be able to have business as usual. You're going to have so many people coming down to, to block the way for the people not to be able to get to work. Yeah. And if you shut down Wall Street, do you, do you understand the nexus of how what, what, what happens on Wall Street affects how the bread gets to the bodega to, so the bodega owner that you're friends with can sell it? You know, democracy and freedom of speech is not tidy and can be inconvenient. And it is our goal to be as inconvenient as possible until things change. Okay. All right. Grim Woman, thank you very much for being with us. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. You guys are fantastic. Thank you. Goodbye, Grim Woman. You won her over. Oh, yeah. I left the bar. I was yeah. the guy that left the bar. I'm dating her. When the woman wouldn't stop oh, talking sure. over everyone, and you're like, I'm going I'm to I'm hang yeah. in there. So good you for you. It. You 